Hello gamers and gunslingers, I'm Compulsion84 and today I'm going to talk to you about wireless charging. So to add wireless charging to your phone you need two things. You need the base pad and the receiver. So I'm working on my Samsung S4 because that's what I've got for the next year today and showing you how you can add this to you know pretty much any phone in the market. You just do a quick Google search and you can find all sorts of adapters for your phone. So I went with Rav Power. They had very good feedback on Amazon and the charging receiver was very thin. The receiver cost about 10 bucks and the pad was 25. I didn't go with the stock Samsung charger because it was not only $100 but it also bulged out the phone quite significantly. So to install these things you take the back off your phone then you find the pins. Mine's got four and then you get the charging receiver. There's a little bit of adhesive on the back of this thing. You find the two charging pins and you snap them into the place on your phone. So it's actually on the left on the S4. You push it down and it goes into the recess. I might actually click a teeny bit and then you push down to secure the adhesive. This is a Verizon S4. It wasn't specifically marketed to it. It was for the AT&T and other GSM phones, but it works just fine. And again, this is pretty thin. There is a little bit, a little circular bulge in the middle. So that's what it looks like installed. And you can see it's got a little bit of, little bit in the middle, but it's not bad at all. And now you go ahead and put your back plate back on there. All right, so this is the charging pad right here. I got it because it was larger and it was close to the phone size. It does come with a good USB adapter. So you just plug your USB cable into here. And that circle in the middle is where the actual induction takes place. So the charger that comes with this thing is one and a half amps. The output from the wireless is only one amp because there is significant loss. So to put that into perspective, if you use this charger, you're getting a one third loss. If you use it with the stock Samsung charger, you're getting about a half the charge rate. You can see there's a little light to show that it's plugged in and it'll alternate flashing between red and orange when it's charging. So to use this thing, you just plop it down in the middle and at first I was kind of playing around. You have it centered, it'll beep and you'll get a little message on screen to show you so I've got a little battery icon and then when it's actually charging I get an electric bolt so you can see that it is in fact you know working and you can kind of see the zone where this does and doesn't work and this charger uses the QI standard which the Palm Pre I think developed it's very widespread now you can get all sorts of charging pads online that range from you know ten dollars to twenty five some phones even come with wireless charging built in like the droid turbo if that's the case, all you need to do is buy a charging pad. So I've got a spike in case here that's pretty thin, just to see how this goes in together. Snap the phone in there. And as you can see, it's not very different at all. There's a little bulge in the middle, it's kind of hard to see, that little circular indent. But it's not bad at all, and you can fit tight cases on there. So that small bulge in the middle actually enables the phone to spin a little bit, because it's no longer perfectly flat. So I've had this thing for a few weeks and it works pretty well. It does have its little annoyances where it, you know, has to have the exact placement to work properly, but it does come in handy at work where I want to sometimes check a message throughout the day and then put it back down and keep it charging without plugging it in and unplugging it, so on and so forth. So it's good for that. It does get hot if it's on here about four or five hours, so you might not want to do it overnight. And again, it does charge slower, so it may not be perfect for that. If you already have wireless charging built in, this is a no-brainer. If you need to add it, you know, it's as simple as a $10 module that works with most phones. I would say this is a great thing with a relatively cheap barrier to entry and to check it out if it interests you. If you have any questions about how this worked or any feedback, please post it in the comments down below. Please subscribe if you enjoy this. And again, thank you for watching.